Never want to miss a video? Then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell. Then, after you're done watching the video, make sure to leave a comment and leave a like. See you guys in the video! Oh, I see, I see. Another Sky God, then, yeah? I don't blame you. It is it is a bit odd, though, isn't it, for him to have a sun power? Yeah, absolutely, it's your power. It doesn't belong to anyone but you. In this world, we have been left behind by the gods. After the Titans fell, the children of Olympus returned to Camp Oasis to celebrate the Festival of the Pantheons, where other gods have stepped forward to make their mark. Greek, Egyptian, Asian, Oceanic, and Nordic Pantheons must now live together, despite millennia of hostilities. Now their descendants seek to prove themselves, and survive against a dangerous world of mythical beasts monsters, and worse. Welcome to Origins of Olympus. stepped in here once and I think that was for Ricaro. Huh. They have their own cafe in here? What the heck? We don't have a cafe. But we do have I guess the cafeteria with the infinite food in there. Hmm. This must be their stables. Oh, this must be the living area. Uh, I think this was... That's the weapons room. Oh, Ricaro's. Oh, they have a little kitchen, a little living area. And... Mikhail. There it is. Wait. Hmm. Ibidus lives right next to him. How does he not know he's... 
Um, uh, hello? Uh, hello. Can I help you? Uh, so yes, are you Mikhail? The that son of Horus? That would be me. That would be me. Uh, At your service. Hello, I heard you were the son of Horus? Yes, indeed. My father is the Sky God. So, I, yeah. um... Uh, came to meet you after hearing that you supposedly mm -hmm. don't exist from Mevitus. Oh, I spend a lot of time either locked into my room or somewhere else doing other things, you know, you know, taking care of the cam, you know, defeating, you know, bandits in the desert, protecting the other Egyptian realm, battling sharks with my shark tank. You have a shark oh, tank? Uh, yeah, it just always seems to be empty. I put a shark in there and then they, they're just gone. I feel like somebody's been removing them. I'm not or quite sure who. eating them? Knowing Probably the campers here. Ocean people. God, there's just so many of them. Anyways. Yeah. Um, how can I help you? And and also, uh, who are you again? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm, I'm Mario. The son mm -hmm. of Zeus. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I see. I see. Another sky god then, yeah? Uh, yes, my father is the king of gods and the lord of the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad's also the king of the heavens and, you know, all of Egypt and all of the gods and, like, the rest of the sky and all that jazz, you know. It's... But as long as it belongs to Egypt, you know. That's how the gods partition everything, right? I believe so. I think America yeah. is the Greeks right now. And then, mm -hmm. of course, Egypt is still the Egyptians. Well, so... yes and no. It's a... Uh... It's a complicated relationship we have, you know, there's other religions that have set into Egypt and problematic as they may be, sometimes not problem, you know what I mean, not problematic, but like, <sighs> look, the Egyptian gods just don't have as much power as they used to in there, so how can I help you? What do you need? What? How can I, how, what honor do I owe the son of Zeus? Uh, please don't, please don't go that far, like I'm already- Thank God. Oh, I think the gods above. Yeah, well, how, yo, what's up? How can I help you? Oh, we are actually talking normal. <laughs> you, you know, sometimes, you know, being the representative for an entire group of people, you have to act a certain way or whatever. I don't know. Thank you. Jeez. What? No. You too? Yes. Son of Zeus. How do you not mm, think true. that your father, you always feel like your father's watching right over your shoulder and that if anything goes bad in an introduction, that he's not going to like send down thunders or do something to send his displeasure? Um, well, partially because my dad doesn't control thunder. That would be uh, Ricaro's dad, Set. He's the, the chaotic thunderstorms of God. Yeah, I actually, I actually talked to Ricaro about that earlier. He oh, I'm calls... so sorry. Yeah, he's not that bad. He calls me stepdad. Yep, I, I apologize well in advance for him. Yeah. He's, um... Special? He's new. Yeah. Yeah. He somehow lived his entire life on an entirely separate planet. Yeah, he told me the first time <sighs> I met him. He gave me the whole spiel right off the bat. Mm-hmm. It's from Mercury. His dad set. His uncle's Typhon. He was smacked to Earth and fell through and met Xylo. Yeah, he said yeah. he, he somehow bore through the earth, survived that, and ended up in the underworld. Ah, uh, the kid's head's pretty hard. It wouldn't surprise me. Which is the weirdest um, thing because it's like a magical barrier, not mm, like a physical one. Right? Oh, here, follow me. Well, we can take a seat and, and chat in a more comfortable spot instead of standing here outside of my dorm. Um. So yeah, was there a reason why you came to meet me? Other than the fact that this Mevitus doesn't uh, know me. Again, I haven't had much time for yeah. conversing. Well, I've been doing a lot of research. Well, so. yeah. Well, I guess to explain mm -hmm. things. I was talking to Mevitus after his scorpion had mm -hmm. tried to quote-unquote play with Daisy, the small plant girl I take care of. Uh, uh-huh. As long as the scorpion stays far away from me. I will allow it. You don't like scorpions? Nope. Nah, as you know, my dad's a falcon, and scorpions are like the one thing that falcons have trouble with, especially really I heard big of, scorpions. I heard about that. I, just like the Greeks, you each have mm -hmm. like a special animal that represents you, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
What's yours again? Do you have one? Do the Greeks have one? I don't know. Yeah, well, not that represent. I guess there's some gods that represent. I think Athena's like, like an owl. I think mm, like uh, mm -hmm. I think Hermes is like a pair of snakes that coil coil around each oh, other. Oh yeah, the Cal Calypius thing, right? Yeah. Calypius. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I don't. We don't really deal in like major artifact things like that. We just have a few obvious things, you know, the 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 hooks that we have around. Yeah. Yonks and everything. And I think from I think from my father is the eagle or something or a hawk. Just basically anything in the sky he likes to make take claim over. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm well aware of the influence your father has had on the sky. Um, uh, I recall, Horus and him have still argue about who rules the sky, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Especially after everything that happened in Carthage. But that was more Roman. But you know, your dad was also Roman for a point in time. So. Yeah, I don't understand how that works. He was fine being called Jupiter, and every time I bring that up, he has like this splitting personality, and he gets like a bit of a mood oh, change. Interesting. I wonder if it's the way that the Romans adopted the, the Greek pantheon you know yeah. anyways you know it's it's interesting fortunately the egyptians have always had a very um what's the word standard um religious like pantheon through the, the ages other than the the few random changes that would have happened now and then you know again you know set trying to kill my father's father and then my father becoming the king of uh, uh, Wasn't the your father also dethroned by Osiris or something? I was reading about no. it in some books. No. My father is the son of Osiris. Osiris is unfortunately, well, was unfortunately ripped to shreds by Set and sent to the underworld to rule with Anubis. Oh, okay. I don't know their relationship any longer. Well, so. to be fair, when you look into, like, the, tr it gets the, the uh, whole lineage of everything. You find mm -hmm. out that the bear or the monster that you're slaying could be some kind of distant, distant well, relative. Yeah, yeah. It's it's um, it's weird to think that I'm related to that little red man in some way. Yeah, is he's, he's kind of like my uncle in a sense. Yeah, that's I'm... why I don't like thinking about that. Heck, that's for all we weird. know, really for all we know, the few Greek Egyptian connections, you could be related oh. to someone in the G Greek side. It wouldn't surprise me, honestly. You know, the Greeks, the Egyptians, and the Romans always like to intermingle with each other. Yeah. Oh, the <sighs> one, I read about those. The whole war is on on the on whose gods are superior and who gods rule and all that with the human. I back don't then. even want to know about it, man. I don't want to know. Anyway, I'm so focused on on Egypt Minor right now. I just can't even think about the past <laughs> in that way. So, anyways, was there a, was there a reason why you were seeking me out other than just introduce yourself? Well, yeah, actually. So, oh. recently, my powers have been developing and changing as of late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And well, before last year, I thought I had a full handle over them. But then I spent a year with I spent a summer with my father. Mm -hmm. Yes, surprising mm -hmm. that uh, God actually spent time with a child. Yeah, it doesn't really happen in Egyptian. We never really get to meet or see or even hear from our parents. It's a really odd relationship. Oh, that's unusual. Well, mm -hmm. he decided he wanted to take special interest in training me and to be strong. I'm thinking okay. it's something to do with like the Zylo supposedly proclaiming he's the strongest demigod or something. And he wants oh, to the, the son of Hades, yeah? Yeah. But, ah. uh, so I think he wants me to do something about that, but I don't... Not really into that. Don't really care. Mm. But after that year of just training with him and developing my powers, they basically started developing stronger and stronger. My father says that so long mm -hmm. as I live, that my powers will always grow, and I'm also thinking this is also the reason why Demigods don't have a long lifespan. Not because mm. we grow powerful, but I'm also thinking because we attract a lot more stronger things after us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it's a little bit different from the Egyptian side, but, you know, it's it's a similar story. It depends on who you're related to. Usually the Anubis, Ra, and Horus kids tend to live a lot longer than the others. 
and set kids almost always get exiled. But that's got to be fun. Yes, it's not too bad, to be honest. Like I said, it's because we don't have a close relationship to our parents. It's more so that we inherit their what's problems. The word? Yeah, problems, infamy, in a sense. Oh yeah, no. Not, uh, my yeah. my father. Well, I guess his wife, my stepmom, Hera. Mm -hmm. Well, you can tell that whenever I did, she was with him. Whenever I was training with my dad, mm. gave me some very dirty looks, and in a sense. <laughs> Tried just throwing stuff at me. Her oh. cows are one of her animals, and well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's just say I never go near a farm again. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's it is a bit odd though, isn't it, for him to have a son? He has his own wife. It's odd. I I don't know too much about it, but I do know that Hera tends to be jealous of. Her husband's kids, well, mostly because they aren't hers. Well, what do you expect? She's the goddess of marriages, and her husband cheats. <laughs> cheats uh, is an <laughs> understatement. Oh yeah, no. But I also <laughs> have learned to keep an eye on her because mm -hmm. she's also responsible for a lot of my past siblings' demises. Ah, Namely, of one course. of them, Hercules. Oh, uh, yes, of course. The, the centaur blood situation. Mm-hmm. Yes, the great hero Heracles is generally how we refer to him. Because Heracles was more our time instead of Hercules. Well, actually... It's almost interesting, you know. It's because of that movie Her I call him Hercules, actually. I know yeah, his Greek it's, name it's is... Disney movie. Yeah. Yes, the Greek name is Heracles. It's almost a weird thing when you think about it. We didn't quite have something similar in Egyptian mythology. We don't have the same kinds of stories as you guys. Yeah, I'm sure you don't have, like, Achilles, the uh, the immortal <laughs> warrior with one weak point on his Achilles. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, um, about your powers, then. You think this Xylo character is really the strongest person in the camp? Honestly, I don't care if he is or not. Okay. Honestly, but what's happened is I've been losing control of my power. I've been able ah. to I've been able to control it before, but uh, uh, oh oh jeez, interesting. It's almost like oh dear, oh wow. So I'm guessing you've come seeking help for well trying to control it, yes? Yeah, I don't think Xylo can help me with this, and well, all right. I had a weapon. An mm -hmm. artifact, uh, to sort of say, that's attuned with my family. Yes, and much like one of these. Yes, like one of those. It was a sword. It was called uh -huh. Eternity, and let's say events from last year caused it to be damaged. Okay. And the and because of it, my weapon. Uh, it because it's linked to me, I think is also shattered a bit of my power control over it ah i see i think i understand come come with me i assume you're what you're asking for is is help with control yes yes well i assume since you are a uh, a son of a i guess a king of gods you must have like power that took you time to master Oh, definitely. Many, many, many years. Actually, not quite. It kind of comes to me naturally. You see the mark on my eye? Yeah. Yes, it's a mark that... Uh, it's not only the mark of life, but it's the mark of the moon. So it's the mark of death itself as well. So it's a counterbalance. Right? Sort of. It actually means I can't exist in the normal mortal realm. Which is why I stay here all the time. And out of people's way. Because this but, place is heavily influenced by the gods. Yes, and because I'm protected here. But also because I actually can exist here. There's a reason why I, I consider Egypt Minor my home and not the Egypt Major, which is the one that you know of here in the overworld. So you can't actually anyway, go to your homeland? I could. I could. I absolutely can. My homeland exists in an entirely separate plane. It's a long, long story. I could catch you up some other time. But but first, your problem, yes? <clears throat> so you think that this... This... Um... Sword, yes, is the shattering of this sword is important to you? Well, yes, it's uh, it's cracking, and I'm trying to mm. get it repaired, but 
Ever since it cracked, I've been sl slowly losing control of my ever-growing power. Yes. I would actually disagree in a sense. Well, yes, the sword is definitely important to you, and I would not deny that fact. In fact, if someone were to take my staff, it'd be quite troublesome. It's how I help control the sands. But, at the same time, the staff and the sword are both an extension of yourself. Right? Mm -hmm. Whereas, the sky looks down upon us and we look up at it. The weapon looks up at us and we look down on it. Does that make sense? I... I guess. You mean... Okay. I can, uh... You mean that I have to We are the weapon's master. Think of it that way. I control the sky like my father does. Yes. Like your father controls the sky, we control our, our own weapons. And therefore we can control our own powers. And the great thing about the staff and the sword is that they are extensions of ourselves and they can increase our powers. By myself, I could summon maybe an army of 10 to 15 sand soldiers. But with my staff and an extension of myself, I can summon an army of a thousand with some extra machinery on top. So, but of course I would never do that. I see no purpose in summoning an army of a thousand soldiers on a whim. Yeah. How, however, if you think of the sword less as so much as a part of you, or less so much as you, you're thinking of yourself as a sword. You're shattered like it. But if you can think of yourself as an, uh, the sword as an extension of yourself, then you can repair the sword and you can regain control over your own powers. Yes, uh... Remember, you're the one in control. It's my power. Yeah, absolutely it's your power. It doesn't belong to anyone but you. Even if your father thinks it belongs to him, he gave it to you. Yeah. Does that make uh, sense? Yeah, I'm... I need to stop thinking of my of the power I have as my father's or mm -hmm. something else. It is me. I gotta mm -hmm. I gotta treat it as if it's an extension of myself instead of something I'm trying to wrangle into doing something I wanted to do. Exactly. Exactly. Remember, you're not son of Zeus Mario. You're Mario the son of Zeus. You right. come first. Right, right, right. Think of it that way. And maybe you can find some inner peace. Only with inner peace will you be able to control your true potential. Right. Well... That makes sense? Yeah, thank you. Well... Good. It's good to talk to someone about this, too. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Of and course. Also, someone who also knows my gripes with having a... Uh, <laughs> parent that, uh... <sighs> doesn't like to keep an eye on, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I get what you're saying. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure... I'm sure being the son of Ra, people expect a lot of things out of you. Horus. Ra is the... Horus, Less than half-intelligent person who runs around with a beetle. A scarab. Both same. Wasn't he used to be smart in the ruler or something? Oh, he's infinitely... Oh, Ra? Oh, yes. There was a point where Ra was, was the ruler of the heavens before my father came along. Also, I would never, never anger Solus. He is far stronger than even I am. Who, who is Solus? Good. That's a good place to stand. But if you run into him, he's got like a mohawk, big old tattoo on his back, doesn't really wear a shirt like me, and... I'm um, not wearing a shirt, though. Son of Ra. I know, I know. I'm not wearing a shirt. So he doesn't wear a shirt. But I got wrappings. He doesn't really have those. Anyways. All right. If you run into him. Um, just don't anger him. It's a good idea. Oh, jeez. Something is setting me off right now. Ooh. Definitely. You he should probably get going. Probably Ricaro playing elect with the power again. He... Mm. It's not actual electricity when I felt it when he caused that storm mm. like I felt the yes. traces of it but it was more magical than actual electricity ah uh, yes I heard about the storm I wasn't around at the time though, unfortunately yeah when I felt that power I thought it was my father you know throwing an angry fit or something like he does every now and then mm. yes I know about your angry fits <laughs> but 
from what I could tell, when I tried to control it, I barely had any control over it because it wasn't actual mm -hmm. lightning. It was more yes. demonic, like demonic yes. energy. Yes, I'm not quite sure about Rakar, but I'm trying to keep him in check. It is my duty after all. Well, he definitely <sighs> needs training. If he's if he's like a child yeah. of chaos, then if not kept, if he's not trained properly, he could mean a lot of issues for a lot of people. Yes, I need to balance the chaos, that's for sure. Anyways, is there any more questions that you had or no? No, no. I gotta go, I gotta go meet with the other one. Okay, sure. Uh, there's this girl in the, uh, in the Japanese pantheon. Uh, oh! Yes. The, okay. uh, she's the daughter of their supposedly strongest, the daughter of Adamarasu or something. Amaterasu, yeah. Yeah. Cool, sounds like a plan. Well, only if you have any more questions, I'm always around. Or sometimes, maybe not. Just ask, and if I'm around, I'll, I'll give you a shout. Yeah, I mean... Okay. Yeah, and if you ever want to hang out, just let me know. I'm sure we both yep. have stories of how our fathers like to expect things of us. Yeah, I, uh, I don't get to talk to my dad that often, if ever. Yeah, but, but I'm sure the pressure of... Oh, let me guess, oh, yeah. when you introduce yourself, it's sort of like, I'm Mario, the son of Zeus, king of the gods... Lord oh, of the yes. Storms. Sort of Some, like... It's Mikhail, son of Horus, pharaoh to Egypt. How can I be of service? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, fun. <laughs> Alright. Well, I wish you best of luck in controlling your powers. And Thank you. Um, I should get back to what I was doing then. Alright. Well, I'll, I'll let you do it then. Good luck. And to you as well, to whatever your endeavors are. Thank you. Right. See ya. See ya. Oh, what a hopeless case we could be.